Joining me right now, Newsweek columnist and CNBC contributor Zachary Carabell. And you've been talking about this for, what, the better part of an hour earlier on CNBC. It's really a story of two Americas, isn't it? We're seeing this 8.3 percent, but there's also this huge number that don't have jobs yet. Yeah, and that number has changed not at all. There are about 5 million people who have been chronically unemployed for more than six months. That number hasn't shifted. There are another 8 million or so people who are underemployed, meaning they, they might be working part-time, but they mm -hmm. want to be working full-time. And, and not to dampen this, because the reality is we, we're out of a crisis zone with employment. Right. We're in a kind of a static, maybe even a little better than static situation. But a lot of the jobs that are being created, if you look at this report, temporary workers, the highest source of job creation, lower end health care services, orderlies of the like, and food services. You know, people who work at McDonald's or are bartenders. And I'm not saying that with any right. negativity about those jobs. Those are honorable professions. But an economy that's based on temporary workers, orderlies, and bartenders is not going to be a dynamic exactly. global economy. Yeah, what you're looking for are manufacturing jobs. They had a nice little blip there yeah. in this last report. And even manufacturing jobs, those are are increasing and have increased over the past two years, having shed millions of jobs in the 2000s, those are no longer basic skill jobs. Those are people who need to know robotics, need to know computers. You're right. going to work a manufacturing line today. That's a higher end job. Because they can't meet the demand right now. Right. Have we escaped the gravity of uh, this bottom of unemployment? Are we now turning that corner, as I was saying in the introduction? You know, again, this is where our political debate, even our media debate, is not up to the task of, of the two stories, which right. is we've escaped the crisis. But not for tens of millions of people who, who do not have the skills or the opportunities to compete in an economy that is fluid and complicated. And if we keep trying to narrow this into a thumbs up, thumbs down scenario, right. we're going to miss the fact that, yeah, there are a lot of people who are thriving in this economy, but there are a lot of people, as these reports show, that are not. Zachary Carabell, uh, some progress, more to be done is what you're saying. Absolutely. Thanks for your time.